you might be in a situation where you need to get a document notarized and you don't have a valid ID to do it. Uh, my name is Rufus. I'm the notary dude here in Los Angeles, California. I do lots of general notary work. I also process a lot of APOS stills here in California. So you have a document that you need to get notarized. The first thing the notary public is going to ask you is, do you have the document ready to go? Second question is, do you have a valid ID? If you don't have valid ID, which is a driver's license or a passport, you can't get the document notarized. However, there is a workaround. If you can find a good notary, they can do what's something that's called using credible witnesses to act as your ID in order to get your document notarized. This is what you're going to need to do. They're going to require you to find two people who personally know you, who are 18 years of age or older, and also have a valid ID. And what those two people are going to do is basically take an oath in front of the notary that A, you don't have an ID that bears the name that you want to use. And number two, they personally know you and they can vouch for your identity. Now, here's the deal with this. Those two credible witnesses, they need to actually personally know you. You can't just bring two people you met at the gym two days ago. They need to personally know you. And number two, because they're taking an oath in front of the notary to your identity, they're going to sign that notary's journal. I also require a thumbprint. Not all the notaries do, but I, I get a thumbprint. And they need to have an ID. The notary is going to take down their information on their ID. So this is kind of a last resort to get a document notarized. If you can find two people who personally know you who are willing to do that, you can use them as credible witnesses to validate your identity. Now, circumstances when you might need this, maybe your wallet got stolen and you need to get a new driver's license and you don't have a passport. So to get a new driver's license, typically there's paperwork that needs to be notarized. If you don't have a driver's license, how are you gonna get it notarized? Um, so these are situations that might come up when you need to have a valid ID. That's why I always suggest that you usually have two valid IDs with you, um, both a driver's license and a passport for situations like this. That way, if you lost your ID, your driver's license, you have a passport as backup. My name is Rufus. I'm a notary dude, uh, Los Angeles, California. My phone number is below. Call me or text me if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you out.